Okay, so we are now in the part 2 of our uh, lecture. So now I'll give you uh, examples of species of a conic and circles. So example 1, so determine the species of the conic. So we are given with uh, the conic equation here. Okay, so from conic equation, so 16 is A, then negative 24 is RB, then 9 is C, then 30, negative 30 is our D, and uh, negative 40 is our E. So in order for us to determine the species of the conic, so we'll just simply solve the discriminant, which is the B squared minus 4 AC. And we will uh, compare it with uh, 0. Okay, so either it is less than, it is equal or greater than 0. Okay, so we have here our B is negative 24 so squared minus, uh, this is for number 1, so minus 4, then A, then time C. So if we calculate this, then this is equal to 0. Okay, so therefore, the discriminant is equal to 0, then therefore this is a parabola. And that is a parabola. Okay, so that is for number one. So how about for number two? Okay, so for number two, uh, what conic represents uh, x, y is equal to nine? So if we uh, convert it into a equation of a conic, so that is x, y minus nine is equal to zero. So the only value here is b. Okay, so our b there is 1, okay, so for x, y, then this negative 9 will be our f, but f is not included uh, in solving the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. So since there's no any value for a and c, so that is equal to 0, so what we left here is b, so that is equal to so 1, so 1 is greater than 0. Okay. So if the discriminant is greater than 0, so therefore the conic is a hyperbola. Okay, hyperbola. Okay, so that is for number 2. So how about for number 3? So for number 3, the eccentricity of the conic of, again, a given uh, equation of a conic here. So we are tasked to determine the eccentricity, though not really the exact uh, value of eccentricity, but the range, maybe. Okay, so again, uh, we have this as our A. So 8 is our A, then negative 12 is our B, then 17 is our c so negative 80 will be our f okay so again we will be computing the discriminant so b squared minus 4 ac so our b is negative 12 squared then minus 4 then our a is 8 then c is 17 okay so this is equal to negative 400 and this is less than zero okay so if uh, we are tasked to determine the conic so this conic is a ellipse so this is an ellipse this is an ellipse okay so that is an ellipse and with eccentricity less than less than one okay so this will be our answer so eccentricity less than one for number three okay so we will proceed to number four so number four find the equation of a circle with center at negative four negative five and tangent tangent to the line 2x plus 7y minus 10 is equal to zero okay so we will solve it to other slides Okay, so for number 4, 
So, I withdraw a circle here. Okay, so I withdraw a circle here. With center. With center, which is equal to negative 4. Then negative. Negative 5. Okay. So, we have this tangent line here. Okay, so say this is the point of tangency. So, the equation of the line is 2x uh, plus 7y minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, so in getting the equation of the circle, so what we really need is the radius and the center. Okay, so since we have that standard equation for circle, so our only problem here is the radius, okay, distance of the radius or the length of the radius. Okay, so I think if we draw this line here perpendicular with uh, the line, the tangent line, then this point from that point will be equal to the radius. Okay? So, since we have this point here and we have this equation of the line, so recalling from your previous topic, so I think we have that uh, topic wherein we can get the distance from a line to a point. Okay, so, so that is distance, okay, so that D distance, okay, which is equal to R, so which is equal to the absolute value of, uh, of A, so say this is AX plus BY plus C is equal to zero, so I think that is the point there. Then this is x and this is y. Okay, so as we recall, so this is ax, ax, okay, a times x plus uh, b, b times the y, then plus c. Okay, so plus c, then over square root of a squared plus b squared. So I think that is the uh, distance formula of a point to a line. Okay. So, radius is equal to uh, A, which is equal to 2, then times negative 4, then plus B, A7, then times negative 5, then minus 10, then over square root of 2 squared plus 7 squared okay so i think our value here is square root of 53 okay so this will be our ranges okay that will be our ranges so from the standard okay so from the standard equation of a circle okay so that is uh, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared so we have x then this is our h okay so that is also our h and k so our h is negative 4 so since we have this negative here so plus 4 squared then plus y then we have this negative 5 then plus 5 squared then equal to square root of 53 squared. Okay. So what we will do is simplify the equation. Okay. So we have, I think we have x squared plus 8x plus 16. Then plus y squared plus 10y. Then plus 25. Then equal to. 53. Okay, so you're going to arrange that into general form. So, x squared plus y squared uh, plus uh, 8. So, 8x plus 10y then minus minus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is the uh, general equation of our circle. Okay, so this will be our answer for number four.
Okay, so we will continue our example 5 in our part 3.